As we embrace the concept of urban infill, it's inevitable that our gardening spaces are going to continue to reduce. But that doesn't mean we can't have a practical garden and a beautiful one at that. The average lot size in this street is around 200 square metres. So to find a garden here that I admire as much as this little one is really quite unique. Not only is it attractive all year round, but it requires very little maintenance and thrives with a minimum amount of water. This little plant is known as Convolvula sonorum, or more commonly as the silver bush. Anytime we see a plant with silver foliage, we know that it's going to be tough and hardy. Well, this little guy has got a fantastic pedigree. It's native to the coastline of Italy and Croatia and survives in some of the harshest conditions, making it ideal for planting here in WA. The secret to this garden is in the selection of plants. It's a mixture of succulents, natives and ornamentals that occur naturally in hot, dry climates. And there always seems to be something in flower. This little Kalanchoe pumula is native to the African continent and it's as tough as it is beautiful. It's in flower for months of the year. And can you imagine this little plant in a hanging basket? It looks so beautiful. One of the things is that they grow so easily from cutting. Simply break a piece off, strip off the bottom couple of leaves and plant it into the pot or out into the garden direct. Keep it watered and in a couple of weeks it will have a root system of its own and in several months it will be a beautiful, good-sized plant ready to burst into flower. It doesn't get any easier than that. This ornamental pair in the centre of the garden provides valuable summer shade and helps reduce evaporation. In winter and early spring, it's dormant, allowing maximum light to reach the plants below. It's hard to go past the good old-fashioned South African gazania. Even the heat reflecting off the road and the curbside doesn't worry this plant, and its silver foliage adds to its toughness. If you're looking for these varieties in your local nursery, keep an eye out for the new sterile forms that won't pose a problem in invading your local bushland. A garden like this reminds me of a painter's canvas. It really is a living piece of art. By selecting water-wise plants, providing them with a little bit of summer shade and using a quality coarse mulch, we can all have the perfect small garden.